In June 2017, the magazine Examé launched a curious article entitled The Brave Entrepreneurs of the Gaza Strip. The text brought the story of individuals who decided to invest their resources in an area under severe conflict. Not everyone has the courage. It is a risky investment. After all, there's no way to know how the future will be in such a region. A long time ago, God asked Jeremiah to make a risky investment as well. In chapter 32 of his book, he described a strange request from him to buy a field in Anathoth on the eve of the total destruction of his people. Verse 25 states, O Lord God, and you have said to me, Buy the field for money and take witnesses. Yet the city has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Jeremiah himself questioned the order. It did not make sense to buy a land in a place that would be destroyed. However, the act was symbolic. God wanted to implant in the heart of the people an important message that destruction would not be forever. In the last words of the chapter, God declares, For I will restore unto them the lot, said the Lord. This is the truth that must be kept in the heart of every individual who crosses a difficult time. Difficulties are not eternal, they pass. It is possible to rebuild on the ruins of destruction. For those who are going through a bad time, God can change any situation.